Welcome to episode 4 of my Joker Helmet Help series. Last episode we covered the sneak attack challenge. You can find a link to that video as well as the other challenges I've already covered in the description. Today we're going to cover the return of the spike drone challenge, which is to get three boomerang medals. To get a boomerang medal, you must kill an enemy on a spike drone return. So this challenge may sound intimidating, but I have three ways for you to easily achieve this challenge. Now I like to educate on my channel, so let's first discuss the spike drone itself. First, you unlock it at level 49, so you may want to use a prestige token to permanently unlock it. Take note that you also have the spike drone in the default sniper class loadout which is at the bottom of all your custom classes. Otherwise, in the infected game mode, this is the exo launcher equipment for infected players. A sort of throwing weapon, the spike drone is instantly fatal if you can land a direct hit on an enemy. It has the best launcher range of any grenade in advanced warfare, and you can return the spike drone to your exo launcher by pressing the grenade button again after it's deployed. When the drone is called back, it's able to kill any enemy that's in its way, which is precisely what we want to do to achieve this challenge. On its return, the drone keeps moving even if it kills an enemy, meaning double and triple kills are possible. It's been said that the player has to have a clear line of sight in order for the spike drone to return. However, this is not true. So watch here as I plant the spike drone and then go quite a ways away and hide behind a wall. Clearly, my line of sight is blocked. When I return the drone, nothing happens. Or does it? Upon going back to where I left the drone, you can see here that it definitely tried to come back to me, even though my line of sight was obstructed. Just take note of this, as it'll help with one of the methods I'm about to explain. One more thing. If you shoot the spike drone on the wall or the ground, it will only last 29 seconds outside of your exo launcher. If it remains out for more than 29 seconds, it simply disappears. This is very important to note. So, the first method. This is the one I had the least amount of success with, and it involves search and rescue or search and destroy. So once you plant a bomb in either of these modes, the bomb drops to the ground. Simply plant your spike drone on the bomb and then hide. Wait for someone to start disarming it and then call the spike drone back. Boom! Instant death and easy boomerang metal for you. I believe you can hear enemies defusing the bomb, so if you hide close enough to hear it, you'll be able to know when to call the drone back. As far as I know, you cannot shoot a spike drone. Remember, however, that a deployed spike drone only lasts 29 seconds. You have to hope someone tries to disarm the bomb within that 29 second time period. Once planted, you only have 45 seconds before it blows up. The other problem is that hardly anyone ever attempts to disarm the bombs. Seriously, I must have played 30 plus matches and only had the chance to do this a few times because the game usually ends before anyone does anything with the bomb. Still, if you play search and rescue or search and destroy, this is a viable method. The next method is more practical. The basic gist is to set a trap in a narrow hallway where you know enemies are going to come through. A perfect map for this is Riot. In the middle of the prison, right where the B flag is, there are two such narrow hallways. One side is clearly better than the other. So this doorway is the better side, and this doorway is the worse side. As you can see, this side here will still work, but your chances of dying are greater because of the middle doorway. If your enemy pops his head out there, you're toast since you'll be focused on the left doorway. I recommend using two spike drones for this as it will increase your odds of hitting your opponent. So walk up to the wall of the narrow hall and plant your spike drones. Then back up a good distance and go prone. If you're too close, you risk getting cold cocked instantly by your opponent. However, when you're further back, you have more time to hit the return button before they can react. Going prone helps by making the drone curve downward upon its return. Do not put the drones vertical in position, that is, on top of each other. If you do this, you'll likely miss your enemy. Instead, put the drones horizontal, or left and right. This will give you the greatest width for the drones to strike your target. Another good spot is anywhere with stairs going up. Stand at the top of the stairs and put the drones on a wall at the bottom of the stairs. Then, simply wait for an enemy to come flying around the corner and up the stairs and return your drone for almost a guaranteed kill. If you want to add some extra protection when doing this challenge, equip the Riot Shield. The Riot Shield and Spike Drone definitely go hand in hand. So with this method, you can stand in any narrow space with confidence knowing that the shield will protect you. However, you cannot go prone with the shield out, so the drone will return to your chest level. So this can pose a problem, especially if your enemy goes prone. 
Your chances of hitting him on a return are slim to none if this happens. Apparently, by the way, you can get meleeed insanely easily using the riot shield. Don't be surprised if someone bald bull charges you and punches you right in the face. The last method is just to spam two spike grenades at your enemy in a gunfight. The purpose isn't to hit them, of course. You'll want to aim behind or to the left or right of your enemy and return them as fast as possible. Keep doing this and you'll eventually get a boomerang medal. However, you'll probably die a lot with this method. It's much easier to plant a trap in a narrow hallway as I described earlier. For best class setup, you'll really only need two things. First, two spike drones. You can do it with one, but having two spike drones returned to you makes for a much wider kill zone. Next is fast hands. This will help you fire the spike drones faster, which is especially helpful for the spamming method. I don't believe that fast hands makes you return them any faster, but it might. So any one of these methods are viable ways to get easy boomerang kills. Luckily, you only need three. Many people consider this a hard challenge to complete. But if you have some patience and find the right narrow hallway to set a trap, you can get two of these in a single game or sometimes even all three. Just remember that the spike drones only last 29 seconds once it's deployed. If it's nearing the end of its life, return it and replant it. Otherwise, you're going to be caught with your pants down if you try to return a drone that isn't there anymore. So either craft yourself a nice little spike drone trap, stand bold in a hallway with a riot shield, assassinate a bomb planter in search and destroy, or spam the spike drone like a black sock wearing wiswog. At least one of these methods should help you easily get three boomerang kills. And please be sure to remember that prestiging resets all your challenges towards the joker helmet. Prestige with caution. <laughs>